Hello everyone, welcome to Aptitude Jab. This is a chart based DI set involving a bar graph and a pie chart. It says that Shagun dwellers deal in jewelry of only three materials, gold, silver and diamond. The bar graph shows the percentage contribution to monthly revenue generated by jewelries of gold and silver for six months. The pie chart gives the distribution of revenue generated by sale of diamond jewelries over the same period. Now we are just given percentages, percentages, right? So we can answer all percentage based questions, ratio based questions. And if we are asked, if we are given some extra data, we can find the values as well. Okay. So what it means is how to understand this graph is like in January, gold is 27%. Silver is 40%, right? So it has only three materials. So total should be 100%. This plus this plus this should be 100%, isn't it? So if this is uh, 27 and 40, this will be 33%. So I'm writing the diamond here. So here it will be 35. Here it is 25. This is 30. This is 32. And this is 28, okay? All right. Now, if we go to the first question, first question says, what was the percentage increase in total revenue from January to March? Now, the only thing that we can compare with is the diamond jewelry, because we know that whatever uh, we are given the total revenue by diamond jewelry and its per, uh, percentage right over the six months. So we can find the ratio. So that is how we will solve all these questions. So first question is percentage increase in total revenue from January to March. So we have to find increase from January to March. So we will find the ratio of revenue from March to January. Okay. So in March, let us say the total revenue is uh, 100 A and in January it is 100 B. Okay. Suppose this is the case. So we need to find this. So 100 A. If we talk about the diamond uh, revenue through diamond jewelry, it will be 25A okay, upon 33A, 33B because it is in January, it is uh, 100B, okay, 33B. Now this is equal to this upon this because this is the ratio of your uh, revenue through diamond jewelry. Okay, so that comes out as 14.4 by 15.4. 84. Okay, so if you observe closely, this is 11 times, like 1.1 times, isn't it? We can say that it is 1.1 times. Okay, now if you see A upon B, A upon B is 33 by 25 into 1.1. Okay, so that is 30 by 25, which you can say that 1.2 times. 1.2 times means 20% increase. Second question. What is the ratio of revenue generated by silver jewelry in January and February? Okay, so we will do the same thing. We will find the ratio of revenue in January and February and accordingly find for silver jewelry. So January to February, if we say, uh, let us say this is uh, 33. Okay, so let us say 33C. Let us just take change the variable so that you do not get confused. 33C upon 35D equals we are comparing January and February. So 15.84 by 19.6. Okay. So uh, now if we see this number like 9 and 9. So uh, uh, it's a multiple of 11. Also it the sum of digits is 18. So multiple of 3 also. Okay. Now this is uh, this should be a multiple of 7. So we will reduce it. Right. So if we divide let us uh, remove the decimal to get the number okay so if we divide by 33 33 into 4 is uh, 132 26 264 8 times and if we divide by 35 uh, that is 35 5 sir, 175 21 to uh, 210 so this is 6 times so that is 6 by 7 so january ratio february is 6 by 7 what we need to find the ratio we need to find the ratio of revenue generated by silver jewelry Okay, so if we talk about silver jewelry in January and silver jewelry in February, that is silver, if we see here, it is 40%. Okay, 6 into 40 upon 7 into silver here is 32. So 5 by 4 times 
that we can say 3 by 2. So 15 by 14, that is what we get as the answer. So the answer is 15 ratio 14. Okay. Now third question also on similar lines. So it says that if the difference between the total revenues generated in March and April was rupees 10 lakh, what was the revenue generated by gold jewelry in March? So first we will find the revenue generated in uh, March and April. Okay, so let us find March ratio April or you can find April ratio March that does not matter. Okay, we will automatically get which has higher revenue and accordingly we can find it. Okay, so March and April if we see in this case diamond is 25. Let us say 25 M and this is uh, April is 30 A. Okay, so that is March is 14.4 here. And April is 16.08. So let us remove these decimals and convert it to numericals. Okay. So this is 5 by 6. Now let us divide by 5. We will get 288. And this is 6. So if we divide, we will get 2. 26 is 156. 448, 268. 288 ratio 268. Okay, now further can we say the ratio is 144 ratio, 134. Now why I have not reduced further? Why didn't I reduce further is because the difference is given as 10 lakhs, right? Difference is 10 lakhs. So that means 144 lakhs and 134 lakhs. Okay, so in March, the revenue is 144 lakhs and it is asking about gold jewelry. So gold jewelry is uh, in March is 39. So 144 into 39. Okay. Now, uh, if we see this, uh, 144 into 4 is 576. Okay. 57 lakhs, uh, like something 57 lakhs, 60,000 minus uh, 144. So 56 lakhs, we will get this will be the answer. Okay. If you want to multiply, just multiply this 39 into 4 is 156 15 carry 171 17 carry 56 5616 so this will be the answer here okay so this is the answer to the third question fourth question is what is the difference between the revenues generated from diamond jewelry in april and may now understand this question we are just given the percentages and these right so we can just find percentage based questions we can just find ratio based questions unless we are given a number we cannot find the difference or any absolute number now in this case we were given the difference it was 10 lakhs if we were not given the difference we could not have found the value of this question because we did not know now it could have been 288 lakhs 268 lakhs it could have been 72 and 67 also we could not find the uh, the actual values so for this question also we need to have some actual values in order to find the difference between the revenues from diamond jewelry in april and may we can just find the ratio of that but that is not needed because it is not asking that so the answer will be cannot be determined so this is the solution to the set and the answers to the questions